The legend says that in 1255, a boy named Hugh was singing al Murray Demptoris on his way back and forth from school, passing through a Jewish ghetto. In the Priorist tale, the story told in Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer, the boy was tortured and killed in the same manner as Jesus Christ in order to mock him. To silence him, the Jews cut his throat, but he was found few days later, still singing Al Murray Demptoris. This is the house of Aaron, as we can find it today, once the most rich man, the Jew, in the medieval England times. That's how it looks today the house of the Jews, their synagogue, which is still active to one of the rooms upstairs, where they gathered to pray together, and the supposedly crime scene of the little boy. The Jews were charged with ritual murder, and 18 of them were hanged, for refusing to participate in a trial, saying that they refused to show themselves at the mercy of a Christian jury. One of the anti-Semitic flyers, distributed in Kiev, before the famous Bayless trial. The caption reads, Orthodox Russian people commemorate the name of youth, Andrei Yishchinsky, who was martyred by Zhids. Memory eternal to him. Christians, guard your children. On March the 17th, the Passover of the Zhids begins. Zhids being a derogatory term for Jews.